Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be showing you all how I make lip oil treatments and these are the treatments that I actually put in my shop so if you want to see how they're made stay tuned. I try and show you guys everything that I've used for this video but I do have a detailed list down in the description along with a direct link to the actual post that I bought them from on Amazon so if you guys would like to follow this exact tutorial check out the description but one thing that I love about these kind of treatments is you can use any kind of oil blend that you'd like and you really can mix it up and do what you want just be sure if you're trying to do these for sales make sure that you list any nut um oils that you use in case any potential customers have any sort of allergies or anything like that so make sure if you post it online you include a full list of all of the ingredients so that people can read it and know whether or not it's safe for them to use The rosebuds that I'm using for this treatment are completely edible and they're safe to use for this oil. So like I said before, make sure you look at what you're getting. If you're going to infuse different type of flowers, make sure that they're edible, typically hypoallergenic, but also make sure you include what you use inside of a product description if they are for sale. That way people can actually look at it and make sure that it is safe for them to use. I fit about six rosebuds in my oil container but as you guys know when you add oil they tend to float to the top so keep that in mind when you're filling up your oils. As for the shimmery oil, I will say that you can use whatever pigment you want, but just keep in mind since the oil that I used was kind of yellow, I couldn't really expect any pigment that I would use to take on its pure color, so I chose um, a white based shimmer. And the thing about these are, it'll look very very shimmery when you first pour it in, but it will sink to the bottom. So when if you're selling this for customers, make sure you put in the product description that they have to shake these up and down for about 30 seconds and it'll be distributed enough to where they can actually use a lip oil treatment and still give their lips a little shimmer. Again, do not freak out if all the shimmer sinks to the bottom after a few days. It's because the oil really doesn't mix well with the pigment so it's not going to completely dissolve and mix in as well as if it was with a more liquid base so again keep that in mind when you're making these for either yourself or for customers just give it a little shake a little bit of patience and they'll be just as good as when you first made them so as you guys can see this is a very simple very easy thing to do and again i will say if you are making these lip oil treatments to sell make sure you take the necessary precautions 
Although my gloves were too big, I kept them on the entire time and I also kept on a face mask so I didn't breathe into what I was creating. Make sure you double triple check your sources for your ingredients and make sure you all stay safe. If you'd like to purchase any of these items in the videos today, I will leave both a link to my Shopify and my Etsy shop, whichever one you prefer. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will answer them. And if you guys would just like to see um, other products that I've done, you guys can check out my channel. So, you know, drop that like, you know, drop that comment. Make sure you subscribe. If you watch to the end, thank you. I appreciate it. And Black Lives Matter. Have a nice day.